1951, this served as a poor farm to house those unable to work mentally or physically. A new wooden building was constructed in 1853 and housed 16 inmates, but was destroyed by a fire less than a year later. In 1855, a two-story brick building was constructed, but was eventually ordered demolished due to poor conditions. The current building, known as the Randolph County Infirmary and Asylum, was constructed in 1898 and remained in use housing five residents until 2009. First, we check out the amazing barns that they have that we didn't get to check out the last time we were here. Lovelies, welcome back to our channel, Gut Spooky Society. Tina and I have been waiting for this. How many months have we had this planned? Oh my god, four, five, six. Since we left the last time, actually. Yeah, so <laughs> a long time. <laughs> We're back in Randolph County, Indiana at the Randolph County Infirmary slash Asylum. And tonight, we're even more excited because we have access to the barns outside because we did not, they did not have access to these and could not give us access last time we were here. Right. I know. And boy, do we have the feels. Yes, we do. I came around the corner and almost threw up. Yeah. So, we're very excited here in Randolph County. Oh, very, excited. very excited. Yes. yes. And there is a group of us. We'll introduce you to them later. But, it's time to get spooky. Start recording, just in case. Ooh, I hate, I hate spider tops. Spider tops. Oh, All right, here's a ball that I'm gonna move because you mm. can't see it. Oh, spider cobs. Spider cobs. All right, we need the round pod. Oh, bird, you scared me. Jesus, I'm not scared of ghosts, but I'm scared of birds and mice. I'm afraid of no ghosts. What else? I'm going to leave that camera there just in case I need to grab it. Mm -hmm. I want to do, I'm feeling, um, are you getting it? Mm -hmm. Hi. 
My phone is off. I don't have my phone on me. I don't either. Hi. Thank you for touching that. Thank you. Wow. That was awesome. Can you touch it even a little bit more and make the colors glow on it, please? Oh, chills. Chills. We've got lots of things for you to play oh, with. Oh, flashlight. That's that little one I just said never comes on. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you. Holy crackers. Okay. No wonder we feel sick. Yeah. Okay. Prayer. Okay. Flashlight again. And that's one of the, just so the viewers know, that is a tiny flashlight. It's a teeny tiny mag that light. It's not our normal. It's a teeny tiny mag light, and we have not used them in a long time. Thank you. Thank you. No matter where I stand, I'm going to be in front of something. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. <sighs> Heavenly Father, please wrap us in your white light. Shelter us from all evil. We do not allow any evil into this barn, the adjacent barns, the actual asylum, any of the buildings that we go into, in fact, any of the land that we are on, the cemetery included. You cannot come in. And I mean evil. I don't mean mean if you're if you're not evil you can come and talk to us we do invite thank you we do invite any spirit even if you're mean to come and talk to us and tell us your stories we already know some of them we were not able to be in this barn the last time we're so excited to come and talk to you and thank you wow we come with all due respect and we come in peace and we just want again to tell your story and there is a bird that is probably in one of the nests right above dale that's upset amen, amen. Okay. and don't attach yourselves to us or our equipment or follow us or our guests oh or flashlight oh or our guests. But you can touch us mm -hmm. and use our energy while we're here. You can talk to us. I don't know where to stand. <laughs> I know. I'm just kinda there's a lot of Yeah. So this is a this is the barn at the Randolph County. Thank you. They're really liking that one. Mm -hmm. At the Randolph County Asylum and Infirmary in Indiana. And we are facing the old silo. I have got chills completely up and down my body the old silo which is so really absolutely cool i had never seen the inside i of had silo. not mm -mm. either so that's really cool those doors are so flipping heavy mm -hmm. it's just oh, it's amazing oh, my tummy's doing it too dale yeah yep. i suddenly got very noisy yeah very <laughs> of course noisy. you did sorry about that <laughs> spirits my name is stephanie and we've come a long way to talk to you again i'm a very sensitive empath and i can feel your energy like wow mm -hmm. um please feel free to use my energy if you need to can you please turn that flashlight back off when you feel like it oh i was just gonna look dale did you get pictures of up. I took a picture of straight up inside the silo. Yeah. But not outside. I mean, that's pretty cool. Is it? There's no ceiling. Did you get pictures up? No, I don't think I did. We need to make sure we get that if we did not. Yeah. It's very cool. Anyway, have they turned that off? No. Should I reset it? it won't hurt. You think? Yeah, it won't hurt. Okay. I'm sorry, but you're not turning it off, so I'm going to reset it just so our viewers know we're not. Um, faking these all right it's cool all right anyway you can talk to me touch me i am open 
um, please, I would encourage you to touch me. Yeah, there's three of us here. Use all of us. Yes. Tina's Sonic. Tina's Tony is going now. Do you want to introduce yourself? My name is Tina. I am a psychic medium, so I can hear you, feel you, see you. I forgot what I was going to say, but <laughs> that's fine. Keep chattering in my ear. Yes, tell us. Fine. There's somebody in particular we really want to touch. We really want to reach out to, so we're hoping he comes through. Dale, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm, st I'm Dale Spirits. Um, I'll be standing behind this camera a lot, but don't be afraid of it. It's just equipment so that we can see you. And there's a lot of battery-operated equipment that you can use to recharge yourselves if you need to. Or use us. With that being said, I've got the obelisk on now. Do you want me to try the dousing rods? You can. You can try anything you want. Do you want to hold this? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out the best place for me to be. You're going to be sitting in bird poop. You're going to be sitting in bird poop. You're going to be sitting in bird poop wherever you go. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. Embrace the bird poop. Nope. It's a break here. It's all good. Okay. All right. I hear pigeons. I hear people. I thought I heard somebody walking. Maybe it's EMGM. Let me go see if it's EMGM. I only hear pigeons. No, I thought I heard voices. Nope. Whoever that was is not one of our group. Well, that's weird because I definitely heard people. Well, I thought I heard voices too, and then I started hearing the doves or the pigeons cooing. But then I thought I heard it when you said that, and also footsteps. Maybe the camera picked that up. Dale, can you see me? Yes. Wedding? Is that the birds making that noise? I think so. It does sound like voices, doesn't it? Yeah. But this thing is just pigeons. Okay. This is hard to do it this way, sitting on this. Mm -hmm. Can you uncross these rods for me, please? Okay. Please uncross these rods straight in front of me. Obviously know how they work. So for yes answers, I want you to cross them in front of me for now. And for no answers, just don't move them. We're going to be dive bombed by a bird. I feel bad that we're right under their nest.
If you are a male spirit, can you cross these rods in front of us, please? In front of me. That is my tummy. I can't hear it. If you are a male spirit, please cross the rods in front of me. This is really awkward the way I have to hold them. Mm -hmm. Please cross the rods all the way in front of me if you are a male spirit. I'm wondering if I couldn't stand over there and hold my hands over that, like rest them on that railing. Mm, maybe. Because the way I'm doing it, I can't sit like that yeah. very long. Okay. All right, you guys got really quiet. REM pod flashlights, now nothing. And wedding. It's like wedding. wedding. Mm -hmm. Did somebody have a wedding? And nothing since, right? Right. Nothing since it said wedding. Who got married in here? Somebody get married in here? This barn is really gorgeous. It would be beautiful for a wedding. Mysterious. Mysterious. Mm. We like mysterious. Whoa, glass. I'm taking my. I hope everybody appreciates what we go through. Because <laughs> this is not cool. That's why I wear pants and shoes. Well, it's too hot. Oh! That was me. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Shut up. Good thing the floor is concrete. You're not going to fall too far down. Oh, my lord. Let's try this again, shall we? Okay. Woo! Oh my god. Bird. What kind of bird is that, Stephanie? That would be a barn swallow. Dale. That was a test. If you are a male spirit, can you please cross these rods in front of me before I get dive bombed by another bird? is trying to come on. Yes, I see that. I think I might have moved. I just don't feel comfortable over here. I don't think in here is going to be the right place to do these. I am lucky I didn't step on those nails. Cut. 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 Thank you. Don't cut your foot. Don't cut my foot. Produce. Produce. I think he meant like cut the film. Like, <laughs> like cut. No, I thought he meant Cut my foot. Foot. Produce. Produce. I think with any meant, then he said produce. We are producing. Right. Like. Okay. Are you trying to turn that flashlight back on again? We'll do the dousing rod. Can you roll that basketball right in front of that doorway? Okay. Do you want to play basketball? I like to play basketball. Do you? Mm-hmm. Toothbrush. Toothbrush? Hmm. Are you telling me I need to brush my teeth? Or did I forget my toothbrush? Mm. This barn really does stink like a barn. I wonder when the last time was it was in use. Because we're in the feed area where they would feed the cows and stuff. Right. This is the feed trough, right? Mm-hmm. And I think they would put their, head. put their heads through there. Does anybody want to come out and play and talk to us?
I don't want to spend too much time in here because of the birds. I'm going to go over to the other side if you're not comfortable in here. But I thought you wanted me to come in here and talk to you. to another location before we get shot upon. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to get pooped on by a bird. That's what I just said. Is that what you said? I said I don't want to get shot upon. Shat upon. I thought you said sat upon. I'm like, or sat upon. Shat. I didn't want to say the word on camera. Okay. You can say shat, I, I think. I can say shat. I think shat's okay. Shat. I'm just being respectful to our viewers. Well, thank you. Oh, for God, there's tons of them coming. I know, we gotta I can't go. Do it. you can talk to us with. Is Willis here? Willis, if you are here, can you touch one of those shiny balls or light up one of those flashlight go towards that red glowing light for us let us know all in all in o l i n oh, what's that mean yeah, I think it's a name. willis we're not sure if we're if it was this barn or the barn we were just in where you fell out of the window, but this one does have effect. effect. Mm-hmm. They both have hay mouths and windows. Can you let us know if you're here? Nothing in here will hurt you. No, true. Just go near a flashlight or that red light or one of those little round balls and you'll feel, you'll feel it light up. You don't have to be afraid. Please do not be afraid. Just try one of the flashlights. They're real easy. Mm -hmm. Right 
felt the most was on that other end, you know. unfinished business. We're here to talk to you about it. Is there something we can do? Vacation. Are you on vacation? What deal? Is there something we can do to help you finish your story? I say we go down there and we set up right outside on that corner. Where the flowers are? Not where the flowers are, but right around from the flowers. Because when I came around there, that's when I felt it. Okay. What do you think, Tina? Okay. All right. Talk to you guys later. That flashlight came on already. Are you too far away? Hi, can you turn that flashlight on again? The little flashlight came on again. Really? Do you feel like you're close enough? I zoomed in a little bit. If there's somebody here that wants to talk to us, can you either light one of those torches, flashlights, or um, touch one of those shiny balls? You already lit up one of the torches. right here. What was his name again? Willis. Willis. So this is the window that Willis possibly could have had his accident and fell out of. I don't, I don't see any impossible though. That that's, that's the right window. Yeah, that's the there story. There are flowers any, underneath, but I don't see... A, a hay bale coming out of that window. And he supposedly fell all the way down and hit a wagon that was parked under that window. And those are his flower markers. But it doesn't need to be Willis. Anyone who is here and wants to chat, just go over and touch one of those tat balls. Or go near one of those flashlights, and we can have a conversation with you. Oh, cat ball. Cat ball, cat ball, cat ball, cat ball. Thank you. Willis, was that you? Can you do it again? 
The cat ball just went off by the flowers. Uh huh. I just feel like it has to have been that one. It had to have been. Please, that wraps up another episode of the Gut Spooky Society here in Randolph County, Indiana. At Randolph County, the side of the And we made it. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. We're alive. <laughs> We're alive. We started at the barn, then we went to the basement. Yeah. So, woo! All night. All night. Until next week, stay spooky!